Hey guys, um, so I did a video earlier on mixing foundations and I tried mixing it in a con in a plate, like a container, and um, that was kind of a fail, but since then I found a better way on mixing my foundations of different colors, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and try that today and show you how it comes out better. So yeah, the technique I was doing was not... Um, it wasn't it was just not good you have to do something else what you have to do first is put on the lighter one and then put on the darker one all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I may be interrupted but um because people always interrupt me when I'm trying to do videos but yeah I'm gonna take this Neutrogena one in a lighter color it's like classic ivory and it's too light for me so I'm going to go ahead and spread it on my face first. Okay. And y'all know I've been using this one for a long time already. Because I really like the way um, Neutrogena makeup feels on my face because it's like, it's not heavy. And I usually just put it on without a primer at all. And this one's supposed to be for um, Micro Clear blemish. For blemishes, if you have blemishes, it'll help you um, to stop getting them and I kind of believe that because when I use um, other foundations sometimes I get like oily but with this one I don't get as oily <laughs> so I guess I'll just make a whole Neutrogena review later on because there's a lot about that foundation that I like so anyways I have this all on and you can see that it's lighter then my skin tone lighter than my raw skin tone Sorry. and I'm going to put the darker one on top now I'm not putting a thick layer of the first one because I don't want it to get all lumpy like the last time okay so let me get this here's the other one and you can see I've used it a lot since then. So I'm going to go ahead and put some on here. And first I start putting on the darker one on my cheeks. Okay. I spread it around on my cheeks. Then my chin. Then over the mouth area. And it looks closer to my skin tone that way. Much better. Yeah. And so the reason why I don't use this one by itself is because it's kind of too dark for me. And um, it gets oily over time. So that's my reasons for not really liking this foundation. But I want to use it up. So I'm putting it... Um, I'm putting it on top of the lighter one to even it out and it's doing a great job Okay. see so for the most part it looks a lot better with them combined but you have to put one on top of the other you can't mix them up together because the consistencies are so different that it just makes it look lumpy and stuff <laughs> But yeah, and on my scars, I'm going to put some concealer because they're just too thick. I need to go get my lip waxed. I just need to get waxed in general. So anyways, that's how it looks. It's a lot better. In my opinion, it's a lot better with both layered. Lightest one on top, the darkest one. I mean, sorry. Yeah, the light one goes on first, and then the dark, 
one goes over it. Okay? And then just put concealer wherever you need it. So thank you for watching, and see you later. Bye.